Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. Uh, we're continuing our series of migrating a Drupal 7 site to Drupal 9. And in the last episode, uh, you saw me set up this JSON uh, view, which basically outputs my images. So I've already got the data, which we, we got from the uh, Drupal migrate, but we didn't have these images. So what I've done is written a, well, I haven't written, I have created a view that outputs some JSON that gives us the uh, image URL that we need. So I have also decided that although there are some other images on a few nodes, like this one, for example, I'm actually going to do that manually because there's only about five or six that have actually got other nodes. So it's not worth trying to write something to do that. We're just going to grab the main images and um, get those imported. OK, so to do that, we've written a module. And I'll just show you that quickly. Uh, I've called it HGC import. It's basically, I had a, I had an existing import module that I've just adapted. Uh, so it's a little bit messy, but you can forgive me for that. I'm not using any menu links, any routing or any services, but they're already there just from the previous module. Uh, I've also got a utilities module, which just has one function, which I think just cleans up some output, just gets rid of dodgy characters. OK, so most of the work is done inside the controller, not that one, this one here. And I'll just quickly talk you through that. What I'll do is uh, I'll make this available. If anyone wants it, you can uh, drop me a message and I'll send you a copy and you can adapt it yourself. OK, so we basically we've got a function called retrieve content and this goes and gets a an HTTP request, which is that uh, that view that I've just shown you. I added a little cache buster on the end because it kept uh, returning the same results. At the moment, I'm only getting 50, 50 records, but I can show you, show you it working with 50 and then I can expand it uh, as we go. It cleans up the data, just gets rid of any dodgy characters. Um, and then the decoded data is the JSON decoded. Well, all that does, that turns it into an array that we can work with. We then loop through all of the decoded data. Each element of that data will be effectively a vehicle. And we go and grab the image. We grab the file name by exploding the image URL and taking the last part of it. Don't actually need that anymore. That's just a logging statement I had in there earlier. We then load the node by title on our local site. So we gather the data from the external site and then we compare the title of each node with one on our local site so that we know which one to attach the image to. It's not foolproof, but for, for the 150 odd nodes that I've got, that's fine. Um, so here we do a yeah, load by properties title, which is equal to the title. The title comes from the JSON string. Uh, the main image URL comes from the date JSON string. And as I say, the um, file name comes from the URL itself. So we load the node by title. We check that there's only one by that title. I've already gone through and clear, cleaned up any where there were some that had duplicate names. So I know I've only got one for each, but I'll put that check in there anyway. And then for each node, set up the image. So we go and grab the contents from the URL. So that's from the uh, the actual live site. I've given it an image altern alternative as title, just to give it something. And we also give it a saving location, which is public, which is the Drupal uh, root for file root, and then file name to save, which is, as I say, derived from the original URL. We could give it a new file name, but I've decided to go with the original one. Uh, and then we use the Drupal service, which will save that um, data for us. So it writes the data using the bits that we've uh, set up up here. If it exists, it replaces it because I don't want to add multiple images. And then on the node itself, which we've got loaded, we set the field main image to the file saved ID and the image alter alternative. Save the node. Output a bit of markup just so that we can see what happened, and job is done. 
it would have been a good idea to put a sort of unique ID on each node as I updated it so that I don't end up uh, running through 50 each time and overwriting the same ones. But for a one-off exercise, this is absolutely fine. Okay, let's go to the URL that I've set up, which is import images. And let's run that. Okay, so that has processed those, there's 50 odd there. And if we go into one of those, if we look in our content tab, look at the most recent ones. Um, trying to find one that's interesting. Yeah, a Nabisco foods truck, so not very interesting after all. Uh, Nabisco is uh, a local West Australian wheat company. Okay, so we've got images. Uh, if I go in to edit that, we can see that the image looks like it's been named. I can't remember, obviously I don't remember what the original image was called. I'm assuming it's the same. Uh, let's look at another one. There we go, an old truck there. Uh, if we edit that one. These must have been my scanned images, so I can't really remember how they were named. Okay, so that is uh, doing its job. I'm now going to see if I can import the whole lot. Uh, I've changed my view to use all to display all items, and then we're going to run it again. Hopefully, this has got enough time to do it all in one go. And there you go, it's come back with everything updated. So if we look into our content again, we should see yeah, the most recent one updated. So there you go, we've got all our images into our site. Now all I've got to do is a bit of tidying up, which I'll do manually. There's no point trying to automate this process. Just need to put the logo in, sort out my menu, sort out my labeling on my content types and that sort of thing. That will not take long and fairly soon I'll have a complete site. Uh, once I've done that, I'll come back and do a short episode just showing how I push that to live to replace the existing site. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, let me know down below. Obviously, I'll leave any commands I've used there. And if anyone wants the code, uh, just drop me a message. Thanks for watching. See you soon.